Good evening everybody, welcome here tonight. We're going to do a prophetic ministry. It is not live tonight, it's a rebroadcast tonight. So we've got a list of names that we're going to minister to. Uh, first we're going to start with communion. So we urge you to get your communion ready so that we all can have communion together. So uh, Joseph is not here today. Uh, he'll be back, uh, we hope, next week. Uh, he has been in an accident. He's doing well, but you can definitely pray for his recovery so that his recovery is speed up and that everything is well and all of the paperwork and all of that gets sorted uh, very quick and in favorable conditions. So please keep him in your prayers as well, but he is fine. He will be um, hopefully Monday or next week, Friday, then he'll be here. We expect that. So, okay, uh, just a quick uh, protocol. The, the prophetic words that we give is for edification, exhortation and comfort. Even though uh, if God doesn't give you judgment, doesn't mean that uh, everything is in order. Uh, but from our side, we're going to give you uh, words that edify, exhort and comfort. So judge the word accordingly. We urge you as well to write down your word and record your word so that you can listen to it again and again and again. And the more you listen to your word, the more you will draw from your word, the more you'll get understanding. So pray over your word as well. So, okay, let's start with the communion. So uh, we declare this is the body of Christ that was broken for us. Remember, because Jesus, uh, because Jesus was wounded for our transgressions, healing is our portion. He sowed the seed so that we can have healing. So if you need healing in your body, Take the bread and you declare and say, Lord, by your stripes I am healed. Because you paid the sacrifice, I can be part of your family. Not because I deserve it, but because you are the perfect sacrifice. And then we take this body and everything that lack in your life, sickness in your life, even recovery for accidents in your life. I just see a back that is, that is damaged how in faith, uh, we come and we speak over that back so that that back is perfectly healed and restored in a miraculous way. And we urge you to join in and know that you are part of the family. Lord, we thank you for the body of Christ so that we can be part of it. That as we break it, we know that your body was broken for our sins and our transgressions. Uh, we thank you for your tremendous love and your tremendous care. In Jesus' name. Okay, this is the blood of Jesus. Uh, it is the it is the evidence, the sacrifice for a new covenant. Jesus said, "Take this blood in my remembrance that." A new covenant can be your part. We want the new covenant where the law has been written on our hearts, where we have a conscience that we can consciously think of the Lord, but also what His will is for our life. So as you partake in the blood of Jesus, just know that because of His sacrifice, we can enter and have a relationship with the Father, a relationship that was restricted, but now we've got access to the perfect relationship with the Father. So when you take the blood, just see how you get connected again, how your life gets connected to the Father, and it's all because of the blood of the Lamb. Thank you, Lord. Yes, we thank you for your blood, Jesus, and I pray a blessing over everybody watching today, that they'll be blessed, that they'll be healed, restored, renewed, uh, body, soul, and spirit in Jesus' name. Okay, thank you, family. Uh, we really hope you enjoyed the communion. It is a blessing for us to have communion with you. Uh, so we're going to start with a prophetic, with a prophetic ministry. We still urge you to please write your comments, what you hear, what you uh, receive, so that we just know that what this word is doing in your life but also what it is that other people can take from it that they can have their faith stirred 
Uh, because if you don't take this word with faith, it's just going to be an empty word and we don't want that to happen. Every word that the Lord speaks will have an impact. So, we're going to start with Rieta. Rieta, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I just see a path where the path was in a field and there, there's a lot of trees in the way and you can't get through. And I just see how the Word of God opens a pathway in in this field where you can just walk through and I just see where the Lord says I will make a way in the uh, in the wilderness and I will make a, a, a river in the desert and I just see how the Lord says I will provide for you uh, but you need to make your your decisions known to me know the Lord in your decisions know what you ask the Lord Lord what do you want me to do with this and I just see because you are obedient and because you listen to the instructions that the Lord gives you you will have a clear path, a straight path, because the Lord says, the plan that I have for your life is a very good plan. And if you walk on it, you will be prosperous, you will be healthy, and you will have a lot of peace in your heart. Be blessed. M. Rieta, please leave us a comment. This next word is for Mr. Rene. The Lord shows me how he is, how you are tethered to him, and he shows me how he's giving you this tool to start plowing, to start preparing the ground for his rain, for the seeds that, that is coming, that, that he is supplying. The Lord says that you prepare the ground, you prepare a way for him to come and flood, to come and bring you what you need to plant. He will give you the seeds to plant and you will mm -hmm. reap a good harvest. Be blessed. Amen. This next word is for uh, Michelle. Michelle, I just feel how the Lord is really flooding you with His love. And it, the picture God showed me for you was like this fish tank. And I just feel the Lord says that even though you may feel like you're in this small place, I, I, and it's like you wanted to get away from this tank. I just feel the Lord says I'm increasing it, and I'm, I'm He's really, He's really bringing expansion in your life. And I just feel the Lord is really taking you out of a place of feeling stuck into a place of such growth. And I just really feel that you're going. To, to inspire and reach out a lot of people um, to inspire them that they can also um, stretch out and they can also grow and I, I just feel the Lord says there's so much more for you that you are going to experience that you are going to feel of my presence and my love so I just feel the Lord says um, be expectant God loves you our next word is for Sharika. Sharika, God loves you so much. I just saw this picture of how God showed me that He wants you to reconnect to His kingdom. I see like how God shows me like a connection cable, you know, like a cell phone cable, a charging cable. And I just saw like how you are like connected to the Father. But I felt like with that connection, it was like a connection that was broken. But I see like how God comes and He restores that cable. And with that, I see like how He's power starts to overflow or starts to flow inside of you it starts to charge you and then i felt like how god showed me um when you reconnect to the father how god shows me how he's like charging you and because of that i see how you start to overflow and how you start to outflow to other people around you but i feel like how god is saying first you need to connect first and first you need to be charged full be before you can give the others be blessed Thank you, Sharika, for being here tonight. Please remember, write us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. The next word is for David. David, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I saw a picture of you soldering on a PC board, and I just see how suddenly the, smoke's co the smoke comes out, and you're like, oops, I made a mistake. Now you start over again, and you do it again, but this time you've got the experience, and I just see how the Lord says, you've got a lot of wisdom, but the way you gained a lot of those wisdom was because of uh, your experience that you've got because you've d done things over and over again and the Lord says in this season it's the same I know it's not always the nice way or the easiest way to go but I just see how you've got tremendous wisdom that you can share with people and the Lord says it's time to use that time to encourage that even the mistakes that you made in your life will become a testimony where you can encourage people where you can just show people this is what you need to do and this is what you that this is what will help you and i just see the lord says i'm giving you wisdom be blessed amen david please leave us a comment this next word is for miss carrie watson the lord miss carrie ann watson fancy the lord shows me you dancing with with these flags and how you just anoint the ground the lord shows me how how you just release the presence of god through you 
out of you through worship and through praise. The Lord says, release, release, release my presence that you can be an anchor, that you can be anchored in me to release from beneath his, his throne, that river. Be blessed. Amen. God bless you, Carrie. This next word is for Elizabeth. Elizabeth, I just feel how the Lord has placed the crown of joy upon your head and he's calling you to walk in his glory. And then Elizabeth, I really feel that you've been having a lot of dreams and I just feel how the Lord says that I will give you the wisdom that you need and whatever dreams you have, just wash them with the blood of Jesus and just give it, give it to the Lord and say, Lord, here they are. These are for you. And I just feel how the Lord is really going to really bless you with your dreams and with with your sleep then Elizabeth I just see how you're praying for your family and I just feel the Lord says God is bringing healing and breakthrough for your family um, don't stop praying God bless you Elizabeth our next word is for Christopher 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 what I saw for you I saw like how like with the prodigal son when the father stood there and the son started to walk how the father was rejoicing and he was so glad to see his son and I saw like this picture like over and over and over and over and I just got the feeling that the father is glad to see you like every time every time every time you come to the father the father shows me his joy that he has to seeing you and spending time with you and I feel like our God is saying that he uh, that every time that you come and you spend time with him it's like a flower that starts to grow and it's like a flower that starts to like um in season starts to like blossom or starts to get um, big big flowers um, and i really feel like our god just wants you to spend more time with him because i feel like our god shows me how he wants you to grow even more and more and more be blessed thank you christopher for being here tonight uh we ask you to please write a comment we'd love to hear from you uh if your name is not on the list we are sorry about that but we have uh, taken a lot of names of people uh, that come up regularly and that we can just feel we can speak a blessing into your life so please just have a look on the list and be patient there is a lot of people on the list so hopefully you are on the list as well tonight okay so the next one is for Layla Layla the Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you I saw this picture of you in a massively beautiful dress it's a very big dress it is a white dress but every time i see you worship it's like a glass crystal that gets gets attached to your dress and every time you come into the light of god that dress of you reflects the light it shines the light it is just a beautiful um, display of light when you worship in the presence of God. And I just see how God is so pleased with, with every time you step into worship. I see there's a special connection. So even your concerns, take your concerns, worship, and then you give it to God, cast it on God, and He will take care of it. Be blessed. And Layla, please leave us a comment. This next one is for Jason. Jason, the Lord shows me how you wipe the slate clean, how you clean the whiteboard, and the Lord shows me how you step back and you say, Lord, not my will but your will not not my plan but your plan and you start to to rewrite this plan that you've had for for the last like couple years and the lord says that he's going to give you a new plan a plan that that he has made it and the lord shows me how he's just going to give you bits and pieces and he will slowly build you up to the big picture but don't don't try it and, and and plan too much because the lord shows me how he is going to come and and take you on this amazing path on this amazing journey where at the end you will be you will get closer to him be blessed Amen. This next word is for Brad. Brad, the Lord loves you very much. The picture God showed me for you was how you were looking after this um, horse and you really, um, it was a very important horse for you, for you. And I think it represents your calling or um, something you held on to to the past. But then it was like this horse is getting very old and, and it was like you were doctoring it, trying to bring it back to life. But I just feel the Lord says, you got to let it go. And I saw how the Lord gave you a brand new horse. So I just feel the Lord says that um, the the old is gone I'm giving you something new and something so and it and it was it was a big strong horse and I just feel the Lord says it's going to stay sustain it's going to be strong and I just feel the Lord says it's a whole amazing chapter that God is bringing so I just feel it's a new season um, and then Brad I just see how the Lord is giving you a sword and a shield and I just the shield represents faith and the sword represents his word and I just feel the Lord says I'm protecting you I'm protecting your family and I'm giving you the sword um, yeah God loves you Brad, God bless you. 
Our next word is for Les Elesma. Elesma, I just heard how God says he wants to give you postures of rest. Um, before you go like to the pastors of rest, I saw like how God came and he came like with a paintbrush and I saw like he he has like golden paint on this paintbrush and I brush and I saw like he like painted your whole being, everything and so uh, of you of you. I saw like how the father came and he painted it golden 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 and i saw like how you sh started to shine and how you started to radiate and then you went to the postures of rest that god gave you and i just felt like how god showed me there while you were laying there how god showed me how he's like opening up your being and i see like how creativity starts to flow from you how god just shows me that that you've got so much things inside of you it's like it's like busy 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 but God shows me like how he's giving you in this busyness he's giving you the rest that you need and then then he's unlocking new creativity things that you're gonna need in your your future or need for your business or for your children or just for your ministry I just feel like how God shows me how he's unlocking new new things inside of you be blessed thank you Lesma for being here tonight please remember write us a comment we love to hear from you uh, the next word is for Kayla. Kayla, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I just saw a picture of you meditating upon the goodness of God. While you're worshipping, you're also meditating. And I just see because of past hurt and trauma, how that gets separated from you. How the Lord takes away the effects of that. And how He's bringing a healing and restoration in your life. And now every time you worship and when you, you meditate upon God's goodness, you just get that peace in your heart. And I just see... How the Lord wants you to use that gift that He's giving you also to other people, where there's children coming to you with challenges and problems, and how you can just encourage them as well to enter into the presence of God. Be blessed. Amen, Kayla. Please leave us a comment. This next word is for um, Paul. Um, Paul, the Lord just shows me how, how he is giving you these, that he is making you into new wine sacks, that, that he is throwing out the old, that he is, that you, because you can't put new wine into old wine sacks. The Lord says that I have new wine for you and I'm making you new. I'm making your family new to pour in this new wine. And the Lord shows me how he is only using the best the best leather the, his his pure pure consuming fire to to build these these sacks these vessels to be filled with his with his new wine be blessed Amen. Um, Paul, um, God loves you. While praying for you, I just saw the Lord placed his hand on your head and it was like you're wearing this crown of so many diamonds. Um, God loves you. We love you. This next word is for Lynn. Lynn, um, the Lord loves you very much. And I just feel the Lord is really clothing you in his purity um, and in his righteousness. And I just see how you are in front of the Lord in robes of white. And I just feel how the Lord says, I've called you to be a, um, a, 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 a person of peace, but also a person as, of war as well. And I just feel God is giving you words of boldness to speak righteousness, um, not only of your family's life, your life. I just feel that you're going to really reflect on the righteousness of God and you are going to just be a light and you're just going to shine your light in places of darkness so I just feel the Lord says if right now you're in a place and you feel like it's very dark and it's very all over the place I just feel the Lord says right now let my light shine I am your source walk in my glory walk in my love and and the things around you won't affect you what will will be your only source and the thing that will that will really not Will, will, will. God is the king of your emotions and not the circumstances. God loves you. God bless you. Our next word is for Susan van Amara. Susan, I just felt like our God says that he gave you, gave you, is giving you freedom and peace. I see like our God shows me that you had like a break on, but God shows me how he, he took a, like a handbrake that was on him. He took away the handbrake and God shows me now how he's going to give you new direction. He's going to give you new hope and he's going to give you a new vision. I feel like our God shows me like he's going to give you like he's your navigator and he's your direction of where you're gonna go but i feel like our god just shows me how he's gonna give you a new route of where he wants to go where he wants you to go um i see like how god shows me that he's unlocking your mouth but i see like from your mouth god shows me how the words of god how the word of uh, the words 
that God wants you to speak to other people, how words of encouragement and words of strength and just words of wisdom come from your mouth. And I just feel like how God shows me that when you come um, in contact or when you encounter people with difficulty or that need strength, how God shows me that words of encouragement and words of love come from your mouth. Be blessed. Thank you, Susan, for being here tonight. Please remember, write us a comment. The next word is for Anna Marie. Anna Marie, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I just see a river flowing from you and you are serving. And I just see because of your serving, I just see how there's goodness pouring out of you. And I just see how you're connected to the Lord. A lot of times it doesn't feel like you're connected to the Lord, but I see you are connected to the Lord. And because you are connected to the Lord, it's easy for you to let your river flow. So every time you just feel that it is difficult to let your river flow just focus on the lord because he says the more that you draw from his flow the more you'll be able to give flow into this world be blessed Amen, and Mary, please leave us a comment this next word is for C cindy the lord shows me how how your your building blocks are good your foundation is good and the lord shows me how how you just need to put more action into into the building of, of what he has called you to build and where he has called you to serve he says more action and he shows me how he gives you strength he gives you endurance he gives you he gives you rest when you are serving it's almost like what you've been what you've been looking for is in the lord is going to be found when you start serving when you start releasing that that flow of the lord onto others be blessed Man, this next word is for John. John, the picture God showed me for you was how you were standing very tall and you were holding on to this rope and it was like the more time you spent with God, it was like a thicker and stronger this rope was. And I just feel how the Lord says that my Holy Spirit is speaking to you and I'm with you and I'm strengthening you in the spirit, but also what God is doing in the inside is going to overflow in the outside. I just see, see how the Lord is doing such amazing works in your heart. Um, and, and, and I just feel how the Lord is really going to bring an overflow through that as well um, and I just feel how the Lord has called you for family he's called you to be uh, have this kingly anointing and I just feel how the Lord is really going to bring so much breakthrough for your family it's like the, the old chains and also for your business as well God is breaking off all chains and, and, and he's putting a banner of love and freedom over you um, God bless you our next word is for Anthony van der Vaart. So Anthony, what I saw, I saw like this picture of like a builder starting to build the house, but the, you don't have a plan. You don't have like an uh, engineer to help you. You don't have like a draftsman or architect to help you. And I just felt like how God shows me like how you, you won't be able to build this house effectively or good or have a good foundation if you don't have a plan or you don't have the resources or you don't have the necessary things that you need and i feel like our god shows me that he's the designer he's the he's the architect he's the engineer he's the plan and i feel like how when you connect to him and when you when you take the resources or the things that he gives you how this house that you're going to build how that house is going to be this awesome nice big house that's going to be built effectively but without all of that i just feel like how it's going to fail be blessed thank you anthony for being here tonight please remember write us a comment we love to hear from you the next word is for alida alida the lord loves you and he cares a lot about you i just see you praying through a list of prayers where you go uh, before the Lord and I just see how the Lord says I'm moving you into the next phase of your life and I see how you're getting a corporate dress where you are going to look more the part um, where there's going to be more responsibilities uh, but I see how the Lord says it is important to prioritize always keep your prayer list always keep on praying for the people that you love and that you care and I just see how the one is not to replace the other but you're going to have the two working together and that's going to help you to become strong uh, but don't neglect your priorities be blessed Amen, Alita. Please leave us a comment. This next word is for Auntie Morena. The Lord shows me how there was a, a thorn vine that started to grow around your house, and and you saw it, and it was just this big, and like, okay, it's fine. It's not that. It's not that big of a problem. And then you would see it, and it would grow a little bigger, and then you're like, but it's okay. I don't have to worry about it. And the Lord says, no. When you see like those thorn bushes, they want to come, and when it's a weed that wants to come and consume the house consume your home and the Lord says no 
cut it off, pray against it, take communion, renew your, your, your vows with the Lord. Don't just let something start to grow, cut it down. And the Lord is telling you this because he loves you and he doesn't want you to be consumed by this by this darkness by this pressure that he is not putting there but that pressure is not for you to grow um, or for you to 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 get better but it's to crush you so the Lord says cut it down and and he wants to put pressure on the home that will build the home that will build everyone inside of the home yes be blessed Amen. this next word is for Bridget. Bridget, I saw a very beautiful picture of you. I saw how you are like a sunflower and you're looking at the Lord um, and, and you can, the sunflowers can produce oil. And I just feel the Lord says you are going to produce oil. And then the next picture I saw, I saw how there were a, da a daisy crown around your head. And I just feel God is really restoring your faith, that childlike faith. And I just feel the Lord is really anointing you. Then lastly, I saw lavender. I saw how you smelled like beautiful lavender and you know, you Usually there's a lot of bees um, where there's lavender and bees provide a lot of um, really is really good for the rest of the garden. So I just feel the Lord says that I'm bringing good things into your life and I am called you to to set um, to give me a fragrance of worship. And I just feel the Lord says I'm so pleased of it. So I really want to encourage you. God has called you to worship in this time. Keep on worshiping him and you will see how the fragrance will grow and how much um how much the Lord is really going to bless you in those breakthroughs that you need. Keep on worshipping. God bless you. Our next word is for Nareen Trod. And Nareen, what I saw, God showed me, you know, like in the olden days, the gold miners, they had like this pan and they went to the river and they'd like got some sand and water and they swirled it like that and they were looking for gold. And I just felt like sometimes they got gold, but sometimes they were look, looking and looking and looking. They didn't get gold, but... They didn't like give up, they just like persevered and they kept on looking, kept on looking. And I felt like our God showed me that He wants you to persevere, He wants you to keep on looking, do not give up. And I feel like our God shows me by learning to persevere and learning to go on even though it feels like it's getting too much, how God shows me your reward at the end will be gold. Be blessed. Thank you Noreen for being here tonight. Please remember write us a comment. The next one is for Liza. Liza, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I just saw a, a picture where you come before the Lord and you feel worthless. You don't feel uh, that God sees you. And the Lord says, my daughter, I see you. I care for you. I value you tremendously. And I just see because of the love that God is shining on your life, all of the lies start to fall off of you. It's almost like oil sticking to you that the Lord washes away so that this beautiful, precious woman stands before the Lord and how the Lord says, it is because I deemed you worthy. Uh, don't let the enemy speak lies into your ears. I just see how there's a lot of negative things that has been said. You're not supposed to meditate on the negative things. You need to supposed to meditate upon the word of God. Be blessed. Amen, Liza, please leave us a comment. This next word is for Amanda. The Lord shows me how 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 you have such a heart and a mind for 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 really technical things. And the Lord shows me how how that is that is re that is a gift that He has given to you. And when you add you, you His oil into that, how it will truly truly first flourish. The Lord shows me gears how how that is how how you work you are the gears and you want to keep going and you want to build things but if you don't have his oil his love his his um him on on the forefront of your mind everything you build will just crumble and the lord says that he doesn't want what you built to crumble he wants it to grow and 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 be really really good very very practical the lord shows me a lot of practical things that you're going to build but the lord says incorporate his oil and spending time with him be blessed hey, amen this next verse for joan joan the lord loves you so much and i just feel the lord says wherever you go you're going to bring order and unity and i just feel how the lord says that um for your words i just feel that you're really going to bring family and people together and also unity with people and god i just feel that you're really um a light for that and then i just uh, felt how the lord has called you 
you to be a warrior and I, I, I feel that there is such an anoint, anointing of fearlessness that the Lord is placing on your life and his perfect love covers you and I just feel how the Lord says that you're going to use my love for battle and you are not going to be fearless and I just feel how the Lord says is, is inviting you to restore his covenant with him just like Samson had a covenant of God Abraham had a covenant of God and I just feel the Lord says I'm calling you to have a covenant of me God loves you so much Joan God bless you our next word is for Gilliam it's Gilliam yeah, Julian. It's Julian. <laughs> we always get your name wrong <laughs> Okay, so what I got for you, God showed me this old, very, very old car. And I just felt like how God showed me this old car has like got a very old engine. And this old engine, I felt like we're tired of driving. But God showed me that he's not replacing the car, he's replacing the engine. But I felt like how this is a, a very, very big upgrade for this car. So I felt like how God showed me that... This upgrade will only work when it runs on the fuel that God gives you. And I just feel like how God says that when you spend time with Him and when you stay close to Him, every day He gives you the fuel for this engine. And then I also saw like this big juicy piece of steak. And I just felt like how God says every day is a steak day. Be blessed. Thank you, Gilliam, for being here tonight. Please remember to write us a comment. The next word is for Lindy. Lindy, the Lord loves you and he cares a lot about you. I just saw a picture of how the Lord puts flowers. I think it's a bouquet of flowers or what do you call that? String of flowers. String of flowers around your neck. And I just see how that turns into prayer. How you've got specific prayers for each one of those. And I just see how the Lord connects your family like a ring of these flowers. How you pray for all of them. But I just see how it's springtime everything springs together things are starting to work together and i just see how a lot of things that used to be difficult in the past past is just going to start to become easy it's just going to work out because the lord says my favor rests upon you and my goodness rests upon you be blessed uh, amen miss lily can you please leave us a comment this next word is for aunt candace the lord shows me how how your faith is really being tested right now and the lord shows me how don't stop praying don't stop don't stop praying for this miracle because he is growing your faith but he is also mending what was broken what was stolen he is he is healing that but the lord says i want you to continue to come to me continue praying don't don't stop and don't think for one second that my hand has lifted off of you or your family that he is still there and that he is still so alive in the home. But he says that the Lord shows me how you can invite his presence into the home even more than you are already doing. That you can be a gateway for his glory to, to flow through the house. Be blessed. Amen. Um, this next word is for Joel. Joel, the picture God showed me for you was you were standing in front of a beach and I just feel how the Lord was giving you wisdom of where to walk and where is quick quicksand and I just feel the Lord is really placing you on the rock and then I just felt how the Lord um, is really um, carrying you. So you know how a person would um, walk over a tightrope with um, a pole and you have to, obviously, you gotta you got to have great balance and you got to make sure that, that, you are, that you are holding this right and I just feel how the Lord is is picking you up and picking this up and I, I just feel how the Lord says that I'm with you and I, and I and I just feel the Lord says don't look to the right to the left um, and, and just just fix your eyes on me so yeah that was the picture I saw our next word is for Walter Bell so Walter what I felt for you I felt like our oh, God showed me there's a change coming there's a shift coming I felt like our oh, God showed me that um, everything that you were used to, God said, get ready for a change. And I felt like our God sh showed me that you used to use this specific anointing oil, but God shows me that He's giving you a new recipe for new anointing oil. I see like how you've got like, this barrel full of anointing oil, and God shows me like He wants you to like put this herb in and this herb in, and while putting like different herbs in, I just feel like how God shows me that you. You're making like a different ingredients. You're making like a different fragrance. I feel like how God shows me that that when you change the fragrance, that the one that you were using 
were eff was effective, but God shows me that the uh, the new ingredients and the new oil that you're using, our God shows me that's going to be even more effective. But I feel like our God shows me that He wants you to tap into the resources that He's got, and I feel like our God shows me that He wants you to tap into to His presence, His frequency, so that you can get aligned to His frequency, so that your heart and His heart is aligned, and that you're on the same page. Be blessed. Thank you, Walter, for being here tonight. Please remember, write us a comment. We love to hear from you. The next word is for Henry Eight. Henry Eight, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I just see a picture that the Lord has given to your family, and I see He gave it to your grandma, uh, but it is as if she did not use that key, and she passed it on to you, and how you also keep that key. But the Lord says, don't keep the key, use the key. And I just see that key is going to unlock a door of blessings into your life. I just see it is like it's blessing, then it's wisdom, blessing, wisdom, how the gifts will start to flow out of that a door that you open and I just see how your children stands in line to receive that as well but the Lord says really use the keys that I've given you in order for your family to bear the blessings where they'll just have a lot of blessings and I just see how they will be very wise but also very kind and how they will be able to trade in God's kingdom and because of all of the trading that they're going to do they'll they'll have a good life but also they will help a lot of people to have a good life as well be blessed Amen, Miss Harriet. Please leave us a comment. This next word is for Christina. Christina, the Lord shows me how you are chopping firewood and you are keeping this this fire going and you are putting in the effort to to go and spend time with the Lord, to meet with Him, to not just to not just meet with him or I read my Bible and I don't start engaging the spirit and I don't start looking for for his face for his presence but the Lord shows me that is what he wants that is what you need to to build this fire to to continue let this candle burn in your heart is to put effort in to look for his face to to hear from the Holy Spirit what what is next where am I going or what does he want? So the Lord says, put in effort, and, and he's so, so proud of you of what you've done. But, he, but he's not asking for more, but he's asking for a deeper relationship. Hey Amen. This next word is for Jazz. Jazz, the Lord says, don't give up. The picture God showed me for you was how you were painting this entire house, and you've you've painted it, but the thing is, it needs another coat. And it was a very, it was quite discouraging because you thought that one coat was going to do the whole, was going to sort out the the job. And I just feel the Lord says, no, you're gonna go again. And I just feel how the Lord says, I am with you. I've called you to be a person of excellence. And it, there's a lot of areas where people didn't go all the way. Um, and did, did a proper job and I just feel the Lord says um, I'm, you're going to be the person that's going to cut that off and you're going to say no we're going to do things in excellence to glorify God and I, I just feel the Lord says don't worry I will supply the paint and I and it's like God is really giving you like a, ra a brand new um, just just a brand new fire, a brand new wave of his anointing and his love, a new oil. And I just feel that's a promise God is giving you. So if you're feeling tired, drained, sad, God is inviting you into his presence so that you can receive that oil and that and, and his fire that you need. God loves you. God bless you, Jazz. Our next word is for Ari. Ari, what I saw for you, God showed me this picture of how you like working in the garden. And while working on the garden, there were some weeds in your garden but i saw how you like started to pull out the weeds but you didn't take like the roots of the wheat as well so and you know when you leave the root the wheat is still just gonna come up again and eventually when you plant something there the wheat is gonna consume the plants that's planted with them so i feel like our god is saying do not just take out the top part of the weed take out like the whole um root system of the wheat and it wouldn't grow again and then i saw like how god showed me like your whole body um i saw like how god came and he like placed like a it's sort of like a light over your body and i felt like how when that light started to shine all over your body i felt like how god showed me like every organ every cell every muscle every uh bone everything in your body how it started to started to re be like renewed or refreshed and i just felt like our god is showing me that healing is happening be blessed thank you Ari, for being here tonight please remember write us a comment we love to hear from you 
The next word is for Ifishuku. Ifishuku, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I saw a picture of a wheel and it's got spokes like a bicycle wheel. But when you pull away, I just see the torque is a lot on those springs and it creates a lot of pressure. And sometimes some of those, those spokes want to, to break because of the lot of pressure. Now the Lord says, come to me and I'm going to give you an upgrade. Now just see how you get solid a solid wheel that is very effective where when you do something you'll see the results immediately it is not a delay results and because of the delay there's a lot of pressure no now you'll have immediate response and i see how the lord is removing a lot of pressure from your life so things will start to just gain motion and just work forward and i just see uh, that you need to step into the blessing where the lord says i'm gonna give you a release from pressure but a release to get breakthrough be blessed hey man if you could please leave us a comment this next word is for brenda brenda the lord shows me how you are floating on this river and how you are floating closer and closer to him how you yield yourself to the lord to to allow yourself to float that you don't stand in in his river but you float in his river that you allow his river to guide you to lead you and he wants and he wants to spend more time with you so he is always like pulling the current to bring you in closer so the lord shows me just how you yield yourself to the lord and 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 you let go of anything that was holding you down or keeping you in the same same position because the lord shows me how you have really never left his river but you have been holding on to to things to keep you where you are but still in his river but how you release those things to float closer to him Amen. This next word is for April. April, I just feel how the Lord is really um, healing you and I just feel how the Lord is really speaking to you and I just see how you're sitting with God looking at the sunrise and also looking at the sunsets and you're talking to Him and I just feel the Lord says that there's going to be such deeper conversations that you're going to have with me. And then April, I just feel the Lord is really giving you, um, He's really anointing you for your business. He's blessing you for um, the way you communicate with people and work with people. I just feel the Lord is really giving you the skills that you need um, to communicate and also so much favor for what you got to do and I just feel it's like a favor like the favor Esther had and also Esther um she didn't get it right on the first try she had to she had to ask again I think she actually she actually had to ask like three times and I just feel the Lord says that I'm the same favor and grace I've given Esther I'm giving it to you as well and I want you to go and try again God loves you April God bless you our next word is for Lawrence for Navis season. Lawrence, I saw like, you know, uh, what is it, uh, baseball. You've got like the, the person with the bat that's hitting the ball and then the person at the back that's catching the ball or something. I don't know much about baseball, but that's the picture that I saw now. I saw how God showed me like the person throwing the ball is throwing it to you. And every time you're like the person with the bat and you're like hitting it away. But God says he doesn't want you to be the person with the bat. He wants you to be the person behind catching the ball. Because I feel like how the person behind catching the balls is the person that's getting all the ideas. I feel like how God shows me like the, the ball is like the business ideas. And it's like new opportunities. And God shows me that every time it gets thrown to you and you're like the person with the bat, you just hit it away. But God says... He doesn't want you to do that because God says he wants you to catch the ideas. He wants you to catch the opportunities. And then, yeah, I just feel like our God says that he's throwing it to you. It's opening up the doors to you. I see like our God shows me how people are being connected to you. How God shows me new connections and favor in the business realm. Be blessed. Thank you, Lawrence, for being here tonight. Please remember, write us a comment. The next word is from Malvina. Malvina, the Lord loves you and He cares a lot about you. I saw a picture of you like a jack-in-a-box where you wind it up and as you wind it up, because of all of the tension and pressure, it just jumps out and sometimes you get a fright. And I just see how that's how your breakthrough is going to be. It feels like you're under pressure. It feels like there's a lot of tension. But I just see because you keep on praying, because you keep on pushing, because you keep on believing the Lord, I just see how there's a release coming like in a volcanic explosion of God's goodness in your life and just peace. I think you're going to have a lot of peace because of the, the way you trust in the Lord. Be blessed.
Amen. Uh, this next word is for Auntie Malvina. The I Lord. Did give to Malvina as well. Oh, yo. This rag. I just didn't mm -hmm. highlight it. <laughs> Easy. Does it? Okay. Um. Willem, the Lord shows me how the Lord is is really expanding your your thoughts and your and your eyes to see more clearly in the spiritual realm to see what He is showing you that you tap in that you go through Jesus to see things and the Lord shows me how surround yourself with people who also want to 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 grow in the Lord that who you surround yourself with will 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 also um. I don't know what it's called, but when you spend time with people, then you start to act like those people. So the Lord says, make sure that you're spending time with people that either one, you can pray for them and, and reach them for the Lord, or people that help you to grow closer to God. Be blessed. Amen. This next word is for Lani. Lani, I just see how you come in front of the presence of God. Now the Lord dresses you in this dress that is so colorful and vibrant. And I just feel the Lord says, um, wear the colors that I clothe you in. And I just see how you wear these beautiful bold cover colors wherever you go. And I just feel the Lord has really broken off the chains of the fear of people, whatever people think. And I just see how you're yourself and you just let your colors shine, the colors that God has given you. And then um, I just feel how the Lord says that I've given you a calling to hear my voice and to feel my love and also it's like this new strength that God has given you it was like I saw um, while praying for you it was like your hair, hair was getting longer and it was like you know the strength that Samson had but I just feel you have such a it's such a deeper strength than that that God is giving you and I just feel the Lord says it's all from me and it's a gift to you and I love you and I'm with you so I just feel Lilani that God is with you and I just I really want to encourage you um yeah wear the the colors that God has given you. God bless you. Amen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> this next word is for Um Ian. Uh, the Lord shows me how He's taking you out of routine, how He's throwing you inside of the deep end, and 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 He is like a father that's teaching a child how to swim. Like some fathers just chuck the child into the water and they start to swim. And the Lord shows me how He is still there, but He wants you to just expand your wings and just to to He's. It's going to be a, a bit harder, but especially with with getting out of routine, how how in this water that the Lord is putting you in is going to be an amazing like like pool of love and and of work, but of growth because you are in the deeper end, because you are in a place where there where you need to where there's more pressure, where you need to you know to to bring more to the table. But the Lord shows me how how that is. But it also, but also like a, a wave of just, I see how the Lord is really going to like blow your mind in this next like couple of months, how, how your encounters with him, how your present, um, just, just engaging his presence is going to go even, even deeper and, and even longer in periods of time. But yeah, the Lord says, get out of routine and, and just come to me like a child. Amen. Auntie Shemaine, the picture God showed me for you was a cloud around your head and I just feel the Lord has really placed a, crowd, a cloud of glory and there are going to be some people that say why is there a cloud there and, and I just feel the Lord says that um, they just don't know and I just feel the Lord says I've placed my glory around you and this cloud is really going to bless you in so many ways I just feel there's just a cloud of his glory around you and then I saw bamboo shoots and they were, the bamboo was so green and it was so thick and strong and I just saw the Lord you know bamboo at first like the first few years it's like it just stays so small but then like in weeks and it happens like in days it just shoots up and grows and I just feel the Lord says you are a, like going to be like a bamboo shoot it's just going to grow and then I saw a picture of how the Lord has given you all these jams uh, sorry sorry these berries and I saw how you've taken those berries and you made jam out of them and you made it such a it was such like a an amazing product 
product and and it also just blessed a lot of people so I just feel the Lord is really blessing the works of your hands for what's available for you right now of how you make that into jam and I even saw Yandri and Minky and Christian help you make these um, jars of jam and I just feel how the Lord and, and it was like the glass was um, it, um, it was it, it couldn't break it was so strong so I just feel how the Lord says that I'm really um, doing such a great work um, keep on keep on being faithful with the fruits I give you that was the picture awesome our next word is for Stephen Ali Stephen God loves you so much I just feel like how God shows me that you've been on this podium but you weren't like on the top uh, what you call it the top step where the first place is but God shows me how he's gonna make you go higher places or he's gonna make you go um, how, what you can say how can you say uh, yeah, he's going to promote you. I feel like our God shows me how you like spending time with him. You like spending time in prayer. And I just feel like our God shows me that he's going to take you deeper and deeper and deeper. And in the deeper, going deeper, I feel like our God shows me how you're going to get, uh, get more wisdom. You're going to get more knowledge. You're going to get more of his presence. And I feel like how that presence is going to take you higher. It's going to feel like how you're going to be transformed into something new, something that you weren't used to, something that you, you've you never had before. But I feel like how God shows me that when you get this new thing, when you get this um, higher promotion, that you shouldn't just give it to keep it to yourself. I feel like how God shows me that you should rub it off on other people as well. And I feel like how God shows me as well that He's going to give you lots of revelations. And with this revelations, God says, share it with other people. Be blessed. Thank you, Stephen, for being here tonight. Please remember, write us a comment. Thank you, family, for watching. Thank you for writing comments. We really appreciate it. And we hope this message blessed you. Uh, we once again ask you to stay in prayer for the Van Eden family uh, and for Joseph as well, that there will be a quick healing in his body so that he will be here, we hope, by Monday or hopefully next week, Friday as well, one of those days. But just look out. We'll do our best to keep on prophesying. So thank you very much. Be blessed and have a great evening.